The question that many business owners ask is, how do I beat the competition? Well, that's exactly what we're going to look at right now in this video. So how do you, as a business owner, beat the competition? Well, before we can beat anyone at anything or before we can win in any endeavor that we choose to attempt, we must know what the rules are and we must know what the object is, what we're going after. So in this thing called business, if we want to beat the competition, we must first know who the competition is. And I'm going to tell you that like myself, you have probably probably have been wrong about the competition for quite some time. Here's what I mean. We've all been taught to do the SWOT analysis, strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. We look internally for the strengths and the weaknesses, externally for the opportunities and threats. Our competition would often be the threat, some other company, some other service provider, some other service that someone could choose. Well, that is not your competition. Say what? I know you're probably thinking this guy's shirt is too tight. It might be, but it has not cut off the blood flow to my mind. Actually, Harry Beckwith, in his newest book from 2022, um, titled The Invisible Promise, really points out to us who our competition is. Our competition is not in a product or a service or another company, a competitor. Our competition is in a decision. And here's what the decision is in the eye and mind of the consumer or the prospect. It is, do I choose you, someone else, do it myself, or what? Not do it all, at all. So do I choose you, someone else? Do I choose to do it myself or do I choose not to do it at all? And so I was thinking about that and you all can see my list here. This is the list of notes that I took going through the book, having some uh, introspective time while I was sitting at the hospital, not for myself as a visitor, but this is actually a dinner menu and I just filled in the blanks. But here's what I want to point out to you when it comes to the competition. Ultimately, the choice that you are trying to get people, prospects, customers, clients, whatever you want to call them, to make is between doing something and doing nothing. Because here's what I wrote down. Doing nothing is always the easiest choice. So you are not competing against, first, another company or service provider. You are competing with the status quo versus change. And if you're anything like the billions of other people here on this spinning orb that we call Earth, you are resistant to change. We don't like it. We would rather stay in a stasis of comfortable or, or being comfortable or, or comfort or familiar. And so I would ask you, what is going to be so compelling about your service or your product or the relationship, what are you going to address that would make someone want to experience the pain of change instead of staying the same? So doing nothing is always the easiest choice. Making make So our goal is to make change more attractive than staying the way they are. We must sell the rewards of changing the status quo. And so I want to ask you, we've heard about selling the benefits and the features, but what are the rewards of, you know, changing the status quo? Why would I do something other than doing nothing? I mean, especially if it is a service when services are seen as luxuries. Um, that's not me. That's Harry Beckwith. We're going to be diving into a lot of the notes that I've taken from Harry uh, because I believe, especially for my small business owners, my entrepreneurs, those who are providing services, there's a game changer of information here 
in this book. And I'm going to do, and what well, my goal is to do something that I have an asterisk next to, and it is only communicate what's important. So I'm going to spend the next um, few dozen hours diving into this book, and I'm only going to communicate to you what I feel is important so that you can get the benefits of learning without being taught. I hope that you found this video valuable. Do me a huge favor, subscribe, share, comment. I want to know what you're thinking. And if you are a fan of Harry Beckwith, I would like to know what your favorite book is. Don't just go on Google and start um, looking up books and just having titles. I would love to have some discussion to see if we're on the same track. Remember, I love you. God loves you. And there's nothing you can do about it. And until the next time I see you or you see me, don't be average. Be world renowned. Peace.